All right, welcome back. I have put a coil on the inside of my truncated cone mug here. And as you can see, this is quite a bit thicker than this, right? And so I'm effectively doubling the surface area by which we can attach the bottom. Um, so let's go ahead and do that, okay? Once you've got your coil attached, you're going to want to get it wet and score it and then place it onto a thin slab and I'm not loving the rim of this piece so before I cut it out I'm going to address this rim, soften this, these edges with some wet fingers. Okay, that's better working on the roundness. And then I'm going to trace the base of the mug and cut it out. Okay. All the way around. And because I got the bottom of that mug wet, when I lift it up, I can kind of see where, uh, not really. I was hoping I'd be able to see where, where to score, but I know it's along this outer edge. This is still pretty floppy. I'd feel more comfortable if I was holding it with this tar paper template. Now I'm going to paddle. Paddle this on. I can give some gentle taps. If you can see inside, there's a problem though. There is a coil that needs to get blended in. So I'll grab my cell phone here and let's turn on the flashlight so you can see what I'm talking about. You see the, that coil in there? That's not good. We want a smooth, that coil out. So I'm going to use the spoon side of my wood knife and while I'm supporting the outside, the exterior of the mug with the tar paper template, I'm going to smash and smooth and blend that coil into the corner. That way I'm getting a ton of good compression right at the joint, right where you want it. And I've never had one of these mugs fail where it was leaking at the base joint. Okay, this is a, a foolproof way of blending the floor into the wall. Much better. All right. So uh, that's attaching the bottom, and on the next video, I will show you a few different handle types, and we'll put on handles on the mug. Here's a little sneak preview. Huh? Handmade mug. 
foot ring and look at that stay tuned bye